Hello everybody, and we're about to continue our Let's Play series of Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age. In our last episode, we wrapped up what I think is a little portion with Silvando, and now we are working on Jade's portion. I'm wondering if we're going to have a little story with each main character. So we just arrived here. Looks like there was a fire. Got sparkly over this way. I did have to recalibrate the sound that I had set up. So hopefully everything is sounding on point. Let's check this out. on this great saber cap. Well, that was easy. Can't jump over there. Okay, I think we're just going to be heading on over this way. enemies monsters inside the city and the rumors were true Time to put an end to your hyper annoying antics once and for all. <laughs> Not so fast. I'd be able to look after myself, being a fighter and all. <laughs> Wait, you're under the whole masked martial arts thing too, right? Yeah, you made it all the way to the semifinals. Jade, wasn't it? Well, picked a heck of a time to come back. What brings you to town? I've been visiting places where people are in trouble and destroying the monsters I find there. I heard that Octagonia had been overrun, so I came here as quickly as I could. What can you tell me about what's been going on? Uh, well, we've had it pretty tough. As soon as Yggdrasil fell, this creep called Booga showed up and took the place over. Started using us humans as his slaves. Vince and the others weren't about to let monsters take over our hometown without a fight, though. A bunch of them went out looking to take the guy down. But we've heard nothing since. In the end, it got so I couldn't bear to just stand by and watch things go to hell either. I had to try to do something. But... <laughs> You saw how that worked out. Well, they won't be bullying the people of this town any longer. It's time someone taught this Booga character a lesson. Look, no offense, lady, but... <sighs> he should be up in the old arena on the third level. Guess you know what you're doing, but... Uh, just be careful, okay? Looks like we'll be making our way over to Booga. Look, I know you just rescued me from the monsters and all, but taking on Booga, that's insanity. Still, if you insist, I guess I can't stop you. You should be up on the third level. Go on, get moving. Interesting. We've got a save right here. Oh, 
Okay. The upper Octagonia. So we're heading over this way. Boog is building something really special up in the old arena. to take the stairs. I wonder which one is Buga. Buga, I presume. Enslaver of innocence and all-round bully. Oh, there's Buga. I am he, mighty Buga. Spectral Sentinel, Skull Smasher, Swoon Inducer Extraordinaire. It's a lot of titles. And who might you be? Hmm? Let me guess. Another righteous warrior come to put an end to my wicked reign. Oh, come on then. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> and now we've made Booga smitten. That's not good. As glossy as a great saber cat's coat, the flawlessly toned physique of a gigantic. Oh, yes, you're right up Booger's alley. We mustn't waste another moment. Please, say you'll be mine. Let me shower you with gushing lashings of affection every minute of every day, forever and ever and ever. <laughs> My goodness. Ugh, I couldn't think of anything worse. <laughs> Just look at her angry face. It's even more adorable than her only mildly grumpy face. Smooth. <gasps> But you won't be able to stay mad at me forever. Especially not when you see what I've made you. Beloved, a token of my undying appreciation. I call it the hair-raising suit. Ooh, and it will make your darling Booga Wooga very happy indeed. To see you wear it. Uh, not on your life! <laughs> Darling, please. We've only just met. <laughs> Try to control your urges. At least tell me your name before you start throwing yourself at me. Come on now. Be a good girl and put it on. If not for your sake, then for theirs. <laughs> I'm going to get a little aggressive when I don't get my way. So, what do you say, honey bun? A quick change of clothes is a small price to pay to stop these people suffering. 
You know, let's not give in to him. Are you sure? I may be famed for my generosity, but there's a limit to even my patience. So, are you going to put it on or not? Still don't want to. <laughs> I have a feeling they're just going to make us do this, so might as well just put it on. Looks like we're getting sucked up into the vortex. And we are in a bunny suit, of course. It is a pretty color. Please! I don't want to fight anymore! I'm sorry, okay? Please! Lo, thou hast defied mighty Booga and must needs pay thy penance. Thou knowest the sentence. 10,000 battles, no more, no less. Only then shalt thou be permitted to leave this place. You animal! Can't you see he's had enough? He can't fight one more battle, let alone 10,000! Uh, stop it, please. You're only making it worse. Uh, worse? What do you mean? Tis plain thou art new to this place. Fear not, child. His life, at least, shall be spared. Just. 
but the commandments of Booga must be obeyed. Those who defy him must remain in limbo and fight until they have learned their lesson. Now stand aside and let justice be done. Thine own day of judgment shalt come to pass soon enough. I don't know what you people are doing here, but it stops now. Please, you have to listen to me. The more you try to fight them, the worse I'll get it. Forget about me, okay? You really want to help? Go help those who need it most. Uh, some of the guys they're keeping down there, they're getting it way worse than me. Fine. If you insist. I wonder if it's anybody we know. Pray welcome to the kingdom of misery, a land whose only law is that every human must suffer. In these cells do those wicked enough to defy the mighty Buga, repay their debt of foolishness in full, in time, you too shall take the field in pursuit of forgiveness. Like Vince. You were all in the tournament. Is everyone okay? <laughs> Just about. You wound up down here too, huh? Can't nobody catch a break lately. So you're the ones who went off to beat Booga and never came back. What exactly happened? Not a whole lot. We tried to take the guy down, and he sent us here. Limbu, they call it. No one's allowed to leave until they've paid for standing up to him by learning their lesson. Which means trooping in one by one to fight monster after monster. And no matter how bad it gets, you can't tap out. But that's... that's just awful. The whole sordid little operation is run by a horrendous fiend by the name of Boudicca. She brought us all here, and no one's made it out since. Unless someone does something about her, we'll be stuck here forever. Doomed to an eternity of terror. Never knowing who might be called up next. That's no kind of life. But you can't give up hope. If what you just said is true, then all we have to do is take care of this Boudicca, and we can all go home. Can't give up hope. <laughs> You're a bit late for that, darling. We ain't had none of that in here for a long old while. Going after Boudicca will only make things worse for us all. Is that what you want? Nah. Best thing we could do is keep our heads down and wait for him to get bored and let us go. We don't need none of your heroics, all right? You leave it alone if you know what's good for you. You can't think like that. If you do, nothing will ever change. If we don't stand up and... Look, hun, we've all heard the rumors, okay? About the Dark Spawn and how he caused the Lord of Shadows to come and wreck the world. And how a certain young fighter just happens to be one of the Dark Spawn's bosom buddies. You really expect us to listen to you? I... I... All right, it's time to lock horns with some more monsters. <laughs> you, get moving. It's your turn to pay off some of your debt to Booga. No, 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 no. Please, please, I, I don't want to. I, I can't. Never mind <gasps> him. If it's a fight you're after, I'll be more than happy to oblige. <laughs> oh, what fun! I do so love them when they're new enough to still have some fire in their bellies. 
Lady Pudica? <laughs> I bet you thought I didn't notice you up there. Making eyes at my Vivawooga. <laughs> well, I did! Luckily for you, we have an extra special punishment for little madams who don't know their place. It's called the Girly Burly! <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> You've really gone and done it now. So long, kiddo. It was nice knowing you. Hmm. Don't be so sure. You may have given up hope, but I'm not about to. Fallen chain to take another prisoner's punishment. You know, that'll be like a red rag to a bull, don't you? Okay, there should be a save. You really are even more reckless than you look. You don't stand a chance out there, you know? Special medicines, nice. I think we'll call this one. We are past 20 minutes now. So in our next episode, we will be heading on over and see what this girly burly is all about. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and we'll be talking again real soon.